Blue cheese. Blue cheese. What are you doing, blue cheese? All right, what do we got going on here today, you say? So, it's been a while since we've done a video for camping out of debt. We've got company. Oh my goodness. Blue cheese is in the house. You're interrupting. Go. 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 So anyway, we've got this wood stove. We acquired this from the neighbor for doing some manual labor. Okay. Um, he's got a couple more pieces to give me for the top here. Uh, but it's in pretty good shape. It's been sitting outside for a little while. Uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. Wire wheeled the top. Put some vegetable oil on it for now. Just so it doesn't re-rust. Uh, actually for as long as it's probably been outside, it's uh, in pretty good shape. Uh, I didn't have to do too much to it. I gotta fix a door here. I gotta put two new hinges on it. And that will close up right there. Uh, the ash box is here. Gotta make a new ash box to go in there. Fix that. Here comes the other dummy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's the other dummy. Lolly gagging around here. Okay. Uh, so this is a this company went out of business in 1944. I think they uh, went into business like around 1895. So I don't have the specific date on this, but it was before 1945. Made by Charter Oak. Charter Oak stoves. Okay. So these here are warming boxes up top. So this is going to be for supplemental heating and cooling. I mean heating and cooking. All right. Uh, when it gets cold out here, this is in the shipping container on the shop portion. When it gets cool in here, I do have a 220 heater that takes electricity and costs money. So. Sometimes I may come out here and chunk some wood in here, heat this area up, make me some bacon and eggs on a cast iron skillet, uh, heat this area up. It gets nice and toasty in here. I could probably open the man cave portion and heat that as well. Give you that rustic feel. So let me give you a once over, of course, I uh, put it on a concrete pad. I got to cut these off, cut these forms out once this cures a little bit more. We're going to have to run us a pipe up top, either out the side of the wall or out the top of the roof there. So that'll be the next fun part. Let me try to give you a little bit closer look at what we've got here, a little closer rundown. So I've still got to get this piece and this piece and maybe this piece. If not, I'll have to make something for it. The door handle is probably the worst part on here. It will probably get replaced. There's where an old thermometer was. It may get retrofitted with something else. I still have to clean the inside of this. Do some wire wheeling and put some kind of oil or something on there. This is the piece that goes on the back. 
I got to secure it on there. Charter Oak, if anybody knows anything about that stamp, maybe some kind of date. But that comes out. Right there is where you put your wood or charcoal. And there's where I got to put me a ash box. I did run some wood through it the other night outside. I didn't do it inside, not until I get the stove pipe hooked up. Here's your little side damper, which moves. It's not rusted up. Here's your top section. I gotta redo it on the inside, clean it up. Clean up the top. I don't really wanna remove a whole bunch of rust. I just wanna clean off the loose part of it and possibly clear coat over it. There's the side. Charter Oak, wood stove and range. So this will be part one. And we'll try to get a part two further down the road when I got some money to get some stove pipe. That double wall stove pipe is pretty expensive, so uh, we'll have to save up a couple bucks, cut us a hole somewhere, and run it outside. And then uh, we'll have us a nice stove inside the shipping container. Cook us some breakfast, heat us up some coffee. Thanks for watching.